You know, I think I'm starting to get a bit of a headache from all these deaths I've been experiencing in the past future event quantum thing. Yeah. Ah, oh, well. I'm not going to be dying permanently anytime soon. Although I would love to break this cycle. But what can I do? Alright, so I guess the thing to do now is probably go and head back to Brittle Hollow. See if I can finally get into the, uh, uh, that observatory or, you know, crack my head on the wall trying to over and over and over again. Or, you know, just get sidetracked very easily by that rich know my history. But who knows? Of course, first things first, I need to figure out where it is in this cycle. And it's right over there, not that far. Seems like it's always in a relative location every time I wake up from my life basically getting the reboot. And that looks like the southern hemisphere. I can tell because the of the dome. Ooh. And there's what seems to be the Nomai settlement. So I might as well make that my entrance. And who knows, maybe I'll be able to read the writing on that one part of the city that fell into the black hole. <clears throat> hopefully this place is more stable than it was last time. And hopefully I don't end up accidentally tripping myself into the black hole. These things don't seem to be very sturdy. Uh, easy, easy, there we go. I 
Earth, I see gravity crystals. So, if I want to get to the observatory, hopefully the path up there hasn't been completely wiped out yet. Uh, I'm seeing a bit of a path, so possibly. If not, then maybe I can just, uh, let's take a look. Uh, yeah, it looks like the path is completely wiped out. And I think that's the Hang City Gabra was, uh, Gabra, uh, Ryback was talking about. I've been rebooted so many times during these cycles that my mind's starting to go a little hazy with the names. I guess I'm gonna have to go to the surface. a moderate amount of time. Oop. I mean, I could possibly just jump into the black hole itself, which, that's a terrifying thought. I don't know why I'm even having it to begin with. But jump in there, go to the white hole station, and just bring myself back up to the surface. But, nah, it's a little bit faster just to take the path back up. I just need to be careful of the falling artillery pieces coming from that moon. And I should be fine. And now the big problem. I don't know where to go. I guess I probably should go back to my ship and just, you know, fly around. It'd be much faster. Save me on air and fuel. Especially since I'm only at half capacity now. On both, it seems. Ah, oh, much better. All right. Let's take a look around the planet, see if there's a good spot to land. There's a good shot. I could possibly just fly into the under uh, crust of Brittle Hollow to see if there's anything down there worth landing, but it looks a little small. Interesting place. Wait a second. in this grove wonder about freely the entire plant roots and all this is not normal even for this alien planet i've never seen them move is this even possible if anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior i implore you record your observations here here these trees are important or my brain must be oh boy plume is right the trees do move i confess i don't i didn't notice until i read the, his notes Alarmingly, there isn't isn't only the trees, there is the other matter of this area, such as that unusual shard of rock moving in the same eerie way. Just like right now. The rock is unusual for another reason, too. That it possesses color and texture I've never seen anywhere on this planet. Hypothesis, this rock shard's presence is significant. We should study it. Could it be what is causing the nearby objects to also move about this area? I mean, possibly. It does seem to possess some quantum qualities. Mm. And it has a quantum functionality to it. So me thinks this thing is definitely quantum. Getting a little too close for comfort for my taste, though. Bloom, Felix, and I have determined this... A typical shard of rock is the reason objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. The only other object we've observed displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behavior in this groves are related. In her notes from earlier, Felix mentions this strange type of rock wasn't found elsewhere on Brutal Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? Hypothesis. This quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps even a small piece of the moon itself. Of note, the unique signals coming from this shard. Curiously, our friend the wandering moon sounds the same. I have also the heard the same signal from this shard. Process calling out to Giant's Deep, Timber Hearth, and the Hourglass Twins. Suppose there are other shards like this one. Oh uh, yeah, there, it's calling out from Giant's Deep. 
screen, so the moon must be over there as well. Oh, I can't. That there it is. Either there's like two shards on that planet, or the moon's over there. But I haven't seen it peek around the corner of the planet. In fact, I don't even see it anywhere. One's coming from. I, th I think this is overriding the shard here. One's coming from the twins, one surprisingly not coming from uh, Dark Bramble. Interesting. I probably should get below the surface now before I die of a flaming hot death. Beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are prepared to make the first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, descend the steps into the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. Well, I did read those studies of a Nomai that seemed to have land on the quantum moon, so if I want to follow in her footsteps and, you know, discover the reason behind these shards and this mysterious moon itself, I probably should pay this tower a visit. I'm gonna need to take a gravity wall up there. Southern Observatory seems to be that way. Tower of Quantum Knowledge is down here. I guess we can pay the tower a visit before I head to the observatory. Oh. Then again... I can't even get up there. Two sections of the wall are missing, and the gravity's too strong for me to fly up thanks to the black hole down there. Even if I get a little too far away from it... Uh, 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 uh. And the gravity's too strong. Be welcomed in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. But how am I even supposed to get up there? I don't know if it was just age that destroyed this wall or a random piece of the moon hitting the planet not this wall loose. Gravity's too strong. Yeah, you know what? I remember seeing in a past cycle that this thing fell into the black hole. Maybe if it gets sucked in, I can chase it through the hole, or maybe just ride it into it. And I could possibly be able to fly up there before time runs out. It's a risk, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. Yeah, speaking of risks, uh, I guess I need to launch myself upwards. Where even is the observatory? At the city. At the settlement. Well, I found one of the bodies. Was still a presence on this planet. I think that's the observatory because that's pointing towards the South Pole. But how am I even supposed to get in there? Too much of the planet has already decayed into the black hole, and I don't know if I can even get in there now. I could possibly fly over there, see if there's a good landing spot for my ship, and then just shimmy my way up the ice walls. That's worth a shot. I need to learn how to get into that uh, core of Giant's Deep if I want to figure out uh, the secret of that missing piece of the probe cannon. Oh. And touchdown. Sun's looking not quite red enough to implode yet, so I got some time. That's obviously the city. Ooh. It's the black hole, and that has to be the observatory. Now, all that stands is how the hell do I get my ship in there? 
Yes. Just try and maneuver it in as delicately as possible. Oh. Oh. Come on. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh, get up there. Get up. Uh, uh I, this doesn't seem right. This really doesn't seem right. Well, I have my ship up here. However, I don't think I'm going to be able to find a safe pot spot to land before I get out. Yeah. Come on, I just need to get a little further up. Oh, there we go. It's a good thing this cycle resets, or else Slate will be really angry of the shape I'm going to leave my ship in at this point. Come on. Get in there. Oh, boy. All right. If I can maneuver it onto some of the trees here. Maybe stick it in that pocket. Should be a good place to hold the ship while I explore. Come on. This is starting to get a little ridiculous. The black hole's energy is too strong. It's actually pulling me through the tree limbs. Daz and I are lifting the orbital pro cannon components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank beneath the crust. I, I've already read this. This is just a mirror of what was said on Giant's Deep. Yeah, this is all just a mirror, but for some reason the color is different. Oh, well, here's what they wanted to show the engineers on Giant's Deep. Two of the cyclones from the planet, but one spinning in a different direction from the other. One throws my probe up, one throws it down. Cassava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant Steep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit, but one component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. Fire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. An update. It is now clear that there are two different types of cyclones. Most cyclones on Giant's Deep rotate clockwise. These are the cyclones Cassava typically uses to send components into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins in the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. My gratitude, Spire. Noy is showing me your handiwork. I'm intrigued by this secondary type of cyclone, but was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant Steep. Also, I very much wanted to make a model. I mean, if you want
wanted to make a simulated cyclone, make a simulated cyclone. Just make sure it's contained. So that's the secret to getting below the surface. We need to find that rare cyclone. Now the bigger problem rests of how do I get into the core itself because it seems the core is also electrified. And then there's the monsters that said to be patrolling the depths of Giant's Knee Band. Uh, I don't know if I want to go down there just yet. The sun's getting really red. It's almost time. I better finish up my research here and then head to the tower to see if I can get inside before, you know, everything goes boom. This is the twins. This is Timber Earth. It's like a, the big observatory of the solar system. Riddle Hollow, each seems to be rotating on an outer ring around the sun. This giant's deep. learned thus far in our search for the eye of the universe. Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. Kasaba, how can you suggest that? The eye signal came out to summon us from this star system. I'm aware. I grew up hearing the eye's story, yet we are no closer to finding it than you were when you first arrived here. Based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit around this star system's sun. This would mean the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. Those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye signal here to the star system, but were unable to warp to the eye itself. The locator we built on the outer rock and the new, more sensitive locator built here were both unable to detect any traces of the eye signal. Hypothesis, the eye has stopped emitting its signal. signal from the eye but then why would it have called them here if it oh didn't want to be found this is the mark of the eye itself maybe we can get a finite idea of where it is or not judging by this thing it seems to be all over the place Also, it seems to be in multiple locations at the same time. Granted, the eye is an anomaly not even a gnome I could understand, but still, it seems the eye might be quantum itself. Speaking of quantum, how should our methods change as we continue the search for the eye of the universe? We know what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon, so what if we try to find the eye visibly instead of let's send out a probe? need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover these long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Giant Steep would be a good choice. It's furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch. And it's moonless, except when the quantum moon is visiting. Yes, let's build the cannon in orbit around Giant Steep. As we couldn't find the eye signal using two different devices built for the exact purpose, we should discontinue this search method. Mallow's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. I believe I have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken with Raimi and Pi about the technology we're developing? Try to use the probe cannon to find the eye. And the tracking module for the probe got launched into the core of Giant's Deep, so they couldn't get their ratings. But there were so many possibilities, but they went extinct. How could they have been able to find out where the eye is? Maybe... Maybe that's what the masks were for. Or the statues. Granted, the statues and the masks kind of go hand in hand, thanks to the Nomai. So maybe... This whole reliving the future from the past is thanks to them trying to figure out an easy solution to find the eye? I 
need to get to the bottom of this. A, it's really intriguing to figure out what, how the Nomai was able to do all this stuff, and B, I just want to find a way to break this loop and, you know, possibly save my people, or at the very least myself and my friends. Where's the White Hole Station? That's not it. That's definitely not it. A lot of things are blowing up out in the solar system. And I need to be careful before I become one of them. Uh, why is everything getting higher? And why... Am I feeling a little lightheaded? Well, I said myself I wasn't going to go flying into the black hole again. Guess I was a liar. If I can find the, the tower piece before the sun explodes, that'd be great. It had to have come down here by now. But all these pieces look the same. Wait. No, that's a part of the settlement. That's another part of the settlement. Wait, there it is! I should have used the quantum uh, frequency just to find it because of the shard. Everything's getting pretty dark. I know for a fact I'm almost out of time. I just need to get in there and read the studies. to the quantum moon you're almost prepared to set off in this deeply significant journey before you do so pause and remember your history we made this journey not only for ourselves but also to honor the members of the clan who 